Hello everyone, today we will talk about the transit of the Earth. The transiting Earth is in conjunction with the natal moon. How the transiting Earth will behave in conjunction with the natal moon depends on the position of the natal moon. This transit may be more prominent in your life if you already have planets aspecting your natal moon. But the basics are as follows. With the transiting Earth conjunct your natal moon, you will feel like you are doing something to take care of what is valuable to you. If you have a financial partner or family, you'll want to be generous to them, buy or make a gift for them, or do something like cooking a special meal for them. All this favors the expression of your feelings and makes you sentimental. You will feel a material attachment to almost everything around you, and you will definitely want to spend time at home with your loved ones, with the support of acquaintances. Your personal interactions will provide you with much comfort, since other people are more sensitive to your moods, they can illuminate the most positive aspects of your situation. And the ambitions of your nature come to the fore. You will also feel particularly intuitive today. Whatever you're into, it's a great time to make space to explore and express your intuition. All this will encourage you to your wishes, which you will finally be able to express in a very harmonious and emotional way. Therefore, by redecorating your home or buying new clothes, you are supporting the energy that has come over you, and it would be great to share it with your family. Such a move will lead to greater harmony in family relationships and you will probably communicate well with them, especially with the women you are close to. In general, you want to do everything to make your daily or family life more comfortable. Although the Earth and the Moon are not compatible planets for companionship, the sign and position of their meeting will determine which energy will prevail in the transit itself. Therefore, pay special attention to where your Moon is. When concluding any business or partnership, people with the Moon in Virgo should approach the situation very rationally and without emotion, while for example, people with the Moon in Pisces should definitely rely more on intuition before making any investment. As we have already stated, this is the day when you are more likely to spend money on something to make yourself feel good or to make someone you care about happy. Be close to people with whom you have a lot in common and with whom you cooperate. Fulfill the desire to give that you feel, and balance will be maintained. Individuals will feel nostalgic, memories from the past may hit them so hard that they may feel a little overwhelmed. In any case, you will enjoy spending time in places and with things that have a positive association with your past. That's why your home will be the best meeting or gathering center, and you'll enjoy being with family or working with people you know, and share with them important financial matters related to land, property or your future security. Financial matters will run smoothly and your pleasant familiarity will help you feel calm. The only downside to watch out for is the tendency to overindulge, so be careful not to let your current mood dictate financial decisions, at such a time getting a second opinion would be very helpful.